A major decision with major implications for how DUI cases are prosecuted in our state. Yeah, today the Georgia Supreme Court struck down part of the state's DUI law. A Five Size Claire Sims joins us now at the lie desk with more on what this means and what part of the law the justices say is unconstitutional. Claire? Well, Russ, under Georgia's Constitution, we all have a right against self-incrimination. But current Georgia law says if you're pulled over for suspicion of DUI and refuse a breathalyzer test, that information can be used against you. And the Supreme Court says that is unconstitutional. Atlanta attorney Greg Willis argued the case in front of the state Supreme Court last April. This morning, the justices issued that unanimous opinion. They say under Georgia's Constitution, the fact that you refused a breath test cannot be used as evidence in court because that too would be self-incrimination and Willis says at the end of the day a DUI case should be no different than any other criminal proceeding. When a suspect of a murder invokes his right to a lawyer or remain silent or not talk to the police um, so it's the same principle with the DUI when when you refuse to waive your constitutional right uh, against self-incrimination it's not admissible in the trial. Now, in the 94-page opinion, the Supreme Court said they understand the ripple effect this will have on law enforcement's ability to prosecute DUI cases, but they say the right to be free from compelled self-incrimination does not wax or wane based on the severity of a defendant's alleged crimes. Of course, state legislators will now need to make changes to the law. At the Live Desk, Claire Sims, Fox 5 News. All right, thanks so much, Claire.